Hello everyone, Walsh21 here and welcome to a new video. Today's video, we are looking at this uh, B-Link Sear uh, Series Mini PC. Uh, as you can see there at the end there, it's B-Link. And in this Mini PC, uh, it has a Ryzen 5, let's see if that will zoom in there, Ryzen 5 5560U processor, 16 gig of RAM, one terabyte storage, and it's uh, capable of Wi-Fi 6 or up to one gig uh, LAN. It also has, uh, say, 19 volts, so 3.42. But yeah, I bought this one off Amazon um, to have a little look at. Bought it just before Prime Day sales, but even with the Prime Day sales, it's the same price. Uh, they just changed the price and then the uh, vouchers around. So yeah, just goes to prove that Prime Day is never all that. But anyway, let's have a little look inside. So should, first of all, we just slide the sleeve off. And we got the box here. This is the first time I've actually opened this. This was purchased by myself. It wasn't sent to me. Um, hello, B-Link, if you're watching, feel free to send me anything else. Jokes aside. So in the top here, we have got the user manual, a little bit of foam underneath, and then the mini PC itself, right by there. Let's open up the other side first. The other side is just another separate box. In there we got some sort of uh, bracket. Uh, HDMI, I believe. Um, yeah, it looks like HDMI cable. Uh, we got a uh, power cable there, UK, because obviously I'm in the UK. If you're in a different country, you'll get your country plug. That goes into the mini PC. Uh, actually, no, sorry, it goes into the power adapter, then that goes into the mini PC. And then we've got another very small HDMI cable, actually, and a couple of screws. So, let's uh, get the, the mini PC itself out. It's wrapped up in a bit of uh, plastic, as they always are. So let's just get in here. So we'll open this up, there we are, just falls out and there we go. Let's move the plastic out of the way. That is my new mini PC. So I have a old Dell system here somewhere that I used to use as uh, my mini PC and it's basically failed on me so I need to buy a new one. Um, I paid 255 for this in the so-called sales. Uh, which I thought was a good price. Uh, is averages out between looking at it between anywhere between two hundred and fifty and three hundred for this one terabyte version. Uh, so your price there may vary. All right. So now I'm going to open this up. So we will cut this video here and uh, we'll have a little look inside. So I couldn't find my usual um, kit for taking these parts all apart, but I did find another screwdriver set that will work just fine. So, we've got four um, posi screws uh, in either corner here, or Phillips screws, depending on how you say them. Normally I say Phillips, but I know a lot of people say posi instead. You probably say something different. Let me know down below what you say instead of uh, Phillips. Also, while you're there, uh, this is the very first time using this microphone. How is my audio in this uh, video? Uh, always interested. And uh, once again, this is uh, obviously for um, my um, uh, followers on my Discord server. They all want me to do this video. So this video is for you as well as everyone else watching. I do have a link to my Discord server down below. We are active every single day on there if you want to join us. So there we go. Four screws out. Let's just turn it over. Only three fell out. So this one you need to loosen them up a little bit. There we are. Right, it's now four screws out. Let's just move them to the side. Should have had my magnetic tray actually. And let's just slowly, there we are. We, I knew there'd be a, a ribbon cable. So here we have a two and a half inch bay SSD slot. I do in fact, I've just found quite literally, funny enough, looking for my screwdriver set, I found a brand spanking new one terabyte Kingston um, SSD. So I might actually put that in here. Uh, we will see. By there, we have our one terabyte NVMe drive. 
So that is on the left. You can easily swap that over. It is an NVMe 2280 drive. So on the left here, let me just see if that focuses in a bit better for you. That's about the best I can get. So we've got a 2280, and then we've got two laptop dim um, drives here on the right hand side. So if easily to replace. I'm not going to go any further in because I quite frankly don't need to. But there we are. So we can change the um, the M.2 SSD very easily as well as the um, memory on the right hand side there. And we can, in fact, add in an SSD should we need to. Uh, I'm not going to do it just yet. Like I said, this is a one terabyte. I don't really need more than that, if I'm honest, for this system. But if I need to, I've always got that there. I'm going to put this back together and then we will hook it up to the system and we'll do some testing. Right, before I do the uh, the video on it, I forgot to actually go around uh, the outside of this. So on the front, we've got the power button. We've got a headphone and a microphone. Uh, at this point, I have asked on my Discord server what test people would like me to see on this. So again, link in the description for my Discord server. So yeah, we've got a headphone and microphone jack on the bottom, three and a half mil. We've got type C, uh, so I'm assuming that would be uh, USB 3.2 as well as uh, two USB 3.1 ports. They could be 3.0. I've just had a quick look in the manual. It doesn't actually specify if they're 3.0 or 3.1. Um, I'll put it down below. Um, we've got a clear CMOS button right on the very front here. I don't know if I can pick it up. There we are, so clear CMOS. Sorry about the light glare. Uh, we've got some ventilation on that side, on the back then. We got the power input HDMI on about HDMI. I did I did go back and look over these. They are all HDMI on both cables. So we've got the short one. This is if you use a vase amount. I'll go over that in a second. I'll just have another look. We've got a display port, uh, full size display port of that. We've got another 3.0 and it looks like a 2.0 USB on the back here for your keyboard and mouse probably. And then we got the LAN. As well as a bit of ventilation, you can see the heat grill at the top there. On the side, then we've got a small ventilation, we're back to the front, and then on the top layer, that just looks like it's decorated. No, I can actually see some ventilation. There's a big circle right there. Don't know if the camera could pick that up. Doesn't look like it. So there's some ventilation on the top. And then obviously the bottom, there's no ventilation whatsoever. On about VESA, so I was wondering what that one thing that I pulled out was. So this year. So let me just get out the packaging right as we speak now. So this is a vase mount. What's designed to do is, um, these two holes here, you screw in the bottom there. So you screw them onto those two holes. So there we are, you can see there, two holes there. That screws in there, and then you use these mounts for your vase. So you hang them on the back of the monitor, and then you can use a little tiny HDMI that was provided to go there straight into your HDMI port, or of course you can use a display port or whatever. So yeah, there's a quick overview around the back, and obviously it is B-Link AMD, and I will now hook this up to the system. Um, for me, it'd be a couple of hours from now, I'm just gonna wait for you guys to uh, respond in Discord, and then I will do some tests a bit later on. Right, here we go. Um, so here is the first boot. Um, I'll take a screenshot of what it actually looked like on the first boot. That's basically the screenshot I had, uh, very first boot. Just a taskbar open and two items on the desktop. You'll see now we've got three items. That's that screenshot. OBS, which I'm now using to record this. I've installed Heaven Benchmarks. We will do that. But first things first, this actually have a look at programs. So programs and features. So add and remove programs. And let's just fully open this up and see what we got. So we got the AMD chipset, the usual stuff, Cortana. Um, this is the benchmark that I've installed. There is no, looks like no additional bloatware to what Microsoft puts in standard. Um, Minecraft, okay, so now it looks like Microsoft is now adding uh, the educational edition into it for whatever reason. Uh, but yeah, OBS I've installed for this purpose. Um, yep, I don't see any extra bloatware added by uh, Bell, uh, by uh, B-Link. 
So that has all been done. Uh, one thing I do want to do is I want to uh, do a uh, virus scan. So uh, that would be Defender. Uh, because some people say that these, you know, they all come with viruses, this, that, and the other. So let's uh, just oh, uh, do a virus scan. Let's do a um, scan options, full scan. Let's do a full scan of the system and uh, see what is you. I will come back once this is complete. So this will be a quick fast forward for you. So here we go, it's done a full scan of the system. It has found absolutely no threats whatsoever on here. Um, there is, the reason I do this test is because there is other Chinese companies that have been caught out with putting backdoors and viruses and everything on their systems. Uh, B-Link, I have never heard a bad thing about them and this just goes to prove that uh, just goes to prove it there's nothing on this system whatsoever i'm still offline as you can see at the bottom right hand here i'm still fully offline in fact the date is uh no the date's correct but the time's wrong it's currently uh well it's almost quarter to four not quarter to midnight so obviously i will be putting this back online um let's run heaven benchmark after i've run heaven benchmark i will have to put it online to install steam Purely for this video, I have bought 3D Mark, so um, I'll have to install Steam to uh, get that running. So let's uh, just uh, run Heaven Benchmark. Open that up for the first time. Let's agree to those settings, and wow, that is very very small because obviously 4K. And let's just uh, get it all running. Right, so that was cut a bit short there because I had OBS set at 4K and the screen resolution was at 4K because I had OBS recording and rendering at 4K, it wiped the tests out. So I've redone tests um, on Heaven Benchmark and 720p high as well as 1080p high. As you can see here, here's a screenshot here. Um, I'll try and zoom in. 720p high and the results of the 720p were as follows 62 fps a score of 1573 minimum of 71 uh, 37.1 should i say and a max of 126 um so that was at 720p and at 1080p uh, here we are, it was at system settings, so that was 1080p, you'll see now in the results here. So, 1080p was 29.2 FPS average, 736 score, lows of 20.9 uh, and max of 58.9, as you can see down here, 1080p high. So, that was the heaven uh, benchmarks uh, scores. Uh, I tried to do it, like I said, uh, recording with OBS, but because I was recording at 4K, it kind of wiped it. Next, I'm now going to need to have to actually connect it to the internet for the next two tests, and then we will call it the end of the video. Uh, bear in mind, this system is, you know, a mini PC. It's not really designed for gaming. So these results are actually not too bad um, for it. If you want to do some gaming, it's going to be more light gaming rather than the very heavy, um, you know, benchmark that Heaven does because it is quite a heavy benchmark. And yeah, so uh, I'll just attach this to the internet, do all the Windows updates because that's going to take a while, install Steam and then we will do the last test then. Right, that's all Windows updates, all fully done uh, according to uh, the update at least. And I've installed 3D Mark here, as you can see here. Uh, I've got the benchmarks at the top here. It says recommended for this system is Steel Nomad Lite. Uh, this is a mini PC at the end of the day, so it's not going to be very powerful. Uh, but let's just run this Steel Nomad Lite. Hopefully, it actually does the test, unlike Heaven Benchmark and OBS actually records it. But um, 
we will hit run here um, and then see what actually happens. Right, so there we go. DH12 score is 857. Um, apparently, I just got a load of Steam achievements for that. Happy days. And graphics test 6.35 FPS. That is pretty low. Um, SBA performance, no data. <laughs> No data available. Wow. Um, so yeah, I'm not entirely sure what these scores mean. I have never seen this test before. But that is what that test does. I will have a little look, see if there's any other tests in here. And then uh, we'll end the video. So far, everything that we have done seems to be GPU bench. But this is a mini PC. It's stronger with the CPU than it is graphics. There's no inbuilt graphics at the end of the day. So I've installed here CPU-Z. As you see here is a Ryzen 5 5560U with Radeon graphics built in, uh, AMD Radeon 5. So let's just go on to, over to Bench at the top here and we're going to stress the CPU and see what sort of score it comes up with. So here we are. It's multi-stress in this processor What's that? 2140-ish, going down a little bit, 2137. All right, let's see um, what that happens. We'll come back in a bit. All right, so we've been going for about two minutes or so. It's at 2145. I did see it hit 2151 at one point. So let's just hit stop on that. And I'm not sure what bench CPU does, so let's just try that. There we are, it's benching. Uh, looks like it's just pretty much the same as stress, to be honest. 21, 22, 23, 22. Oh, a single call actually. Ah, so it actually stops it. So multi core is 21, 22.9. There we go. And single core is 27, 276.5. Um, so let's hit submit and compare. So here we go. Uh, multi threading uh, Xeon X E5 2630 V2 is slightly higher, Xeon X5675 is slightly lower. So it cut falls in around there uh, with some other processors, these are Intel processors uh, on the multi thread score. So do that information as you please. Like I said, I've never actually run this myself, so I don't know. Um, much about it. So anyway, the audio cut off right at the end, so I'm re-recording the ending here. Um, I realized I didn't do a 4K render on this uh, video here. So if you want me to revisit that to see what like 4K streaming is on YouTube, uh, let me know and I'll redo a little bit of a video, maybe a YouTube short or something. Any other ideas you want me uh, to do on this video, on this uh, mini PC, just let me know and I will maybe look at revisiting and uh, doing some bits and bobs on it. Um, as always, thank you all to my channel supporters, either via YouTube, Patreon, or PayPal. They need to all be at the top right hand side of the screen, as always. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next one. Ciao for now, everyone.